truly honoured as Mayor of the County to be with you all here this afternoon and to lead the celebrations in recognising and opening this new and magnificent addition to Clannacilty, to Cork and to Ireland. Clannacilty is a multi-award winning, vibrant and dynamic seaside town here in the heart of West Cork. Famous for its community spirit, its blue fag beaches, award winning food producers and restaurants as well as an internationally renowned music scene, Clannacilty has everything you could wish for. Clannacilty, the birthplace of Michael Collins, has an incredible history. The Michael Collins Museum will tell the story of the struggle for independence in Ireland from 1798 to 1922. The story is told with a focus on three local patriots, Tygan Asna and the 1798 rebellion Jeremiah O'Donovan Rossa over the late 19th century, and of course, Michael Collins covering the War of Independence and the Irish Civil War. Um, the impact of the opening of this centre will have long-term benefits for Clannacilty in the wider West Cork area. It will bring a focus for continuing interest in promoting awareness of the life of Michael Collins and indeed the other local patriots who inspired him and the events leading up to the foundation of the state. All great projects start with a great vision. And the great vision for this project came from the people of Clannacilty. And like all great visions, it takes a lot of people to turn the vision into a concrete project. Cork County Council Architects Department, led by Sean McLaughlin and his team of Julia Vallone, who's a great hand on the town of Clannacilty. Architect on site, Gareth O'Callaghan. Vidar Media Limited, led by Simon Hill, Patrick O'Sullivan and Daytona Contractors and their foreman, Mike DC, who did an excellent job. In particular, I want to mention Catherine O'Callaghan, who has put an enormous amount of work in over the past number of weeks and over the past months in here. Justin English, he's been mentioned already. MacDoro Hickey, Mary Ryan, who has driven this, and Mary's, if you want to get something done, you just close your eyes and ask questions afterwards. I often say inside of work, um, <laughs> Just tell me when there's a banana skin, Mary never does, but she does deliver stuff like this. Nothing I think of any visual consequence has happened in Clonakilty over the years without the wonderful hand of Billy Houlihan, our very own Billy, who has transformed this town visually and in a sense spiritually into the place it is today. Uh, Billy was the former county architect here. He still has a phenomenal interest in everything, uh, not just plan, but everywhere. You have had an incredible uh, input into this, and my compliments to you, and we look forward to continuing that relationship. With Cork's role in the Rising cannot be underestimated. The Michael Collins House Museum portrays this history in a unique fashion. It transports the visitor to that time 100 years ago. It brings to life, living at the turn of the century, the house as it was then. It transports us to the past. Living and breathing this experience is what makes our history real and relatable. We as a family, we've peeled off layers of Jeremiah O'Donovan Rossa and Mary Jane O'Donovan Rossa and we have found a wealth of, of, of information and passion and patriotism that that has been so well kept in this in, in, in this museum today. I'm just floored by how well it has all come together and how much people care in Clannacilty. This is a living history. This is live. It's in colour. This is something that from, from a very young age you can bring primary school children in here, tourists in here, and they get a full story of the, the, the progress of the freedom of Ireland. We grew up, all of us kids, in that street over there, just down the road from Michael Collins' house. And I suppose, it certainly, Tygan Asna was definitely a hero in our primary school history books. We learnt 
very little about O'Donovan Rossa, and there was no mention at all of Michael Collins. For us, I suppose, it was a kind of a, a strange silence in some ways, like a feeling that the dinner table had been laid for somebody, and that somebody never came home. The, the, the shadow of Michael Collins, in a sense, was, was very much thrown over my father's life. His home was burnt down because of Michael Collins. His grandfather, his father, my grandfather, was um, um, imprisoned because of Michael Collins. So, and during my father's life, um, he, he lived in that shadow, but without any real recognition of um, what was the greatness of Michael Collins. But Daddy was so determined then uh, to bring about that reconciliation, civil war reconciliation in the centenary celebrations of Michael Collins. So that was the beginning of the emergence of Michael Collins out of the shadows. In a very short space of time, Michael Collins came out of the shadows, came out of the darkness. I don't think my father envisaged walking into Emmett Square and meeting a, a more than life-size statue of Michael Collins, his granduncle, walking through the absolutely beautiful Emmett Square to this wonderful house called Michael Collins House. That I don't think he'd have imagined. This is a deeply personal experience today, through all of that feeling for my dad and his family. And, and there was a lot of my family, my, my father's family here today, and obviously they viewed it in the same very personal and important way. Um, the recognition now in Clonakilty for the, the, the great son of Clonakilty, that is uh, Michael Collins, is just wonderful. And most, most of all, can I just say the hugest, hugest, most sincere thank you for this wonderful building to the people of Clannacilty, my hometown.